what is happening? Yet another evening that I'm laying in bed, it's about 1 a.m., and I decide to scroll through my phone one more time. And what does my phone do? It feeds me something that I need to immediately go and make a video on. So here we are. The last video that I uploaded on this channel, we were talking about this Blackmagic Pocket 6K mod. If you haven't seen it, after this video, feel free to go check it out. In this video, we are talking about something that honestly, I don't even think I can call a mod. This is straight up a Frankenstein Blackmagic camera and I'm pumped. So a creator by the name of Thomas Boland seems to be working on this project called Nexus Project. A day ago, he just uploaded this video and trust me this is unlike any other mod we've seen so far so the first thing i want to show you is what the final product is supposed to look like yeah black magic take notes what did i tell you this really isn't a mod because almost nothing about this camera looks like the existing pocket cinema line so let's see what sort of stuff they're looking to build into this camera system. This is the most intriguing part to me here because in that final version, we of course see that a monitor is on top and this is utilizing a Pocket 6K G1 body again, which I have a question about that for you developers. Why is everyone obsessing over modding the 6K G1 and not like 6K Pros with better displays. Anyways, that's for later. But I imagine that similar to this design, it will take the screen off the back of the camera and then you can put it on top. The interesting part, and again, keep in mind this is a animated thing, so it may not be the final form with every, you know, accurate bits and pieces, we don't see any ribbon cable. How are the electronics of that monitor connected at all? Very interesting. But even more interesting than that, did you notice the first two seconds? We see the camera panel over the side of the camera as to what looks like a top smaller screen, similar to like a Komodo style, where we have all of our menu buttons. Does that not look at the top left corner of the screen there? That looks like the top handle accessory, and so this is the rear top of the camera. So this will have two monitors, huh? Of course, this is gonna take the EF mount and all the sensor and electronics uh, from the camera. So it's not gonna change camera specs per se, at least I don't believe so. All right, we get, there's our top monitor with the traditional Blackmagic menu. Again, this is still a Blackmagic camera at the heart of it. Uh, holy ports here. So it looks like all the ports are completely rearranged. So we can see a mini XLR, we can see a USB Type-C, we see uh, two 3.5 millimeter, obviously one for headphone, one for microphone. And the top slot looks like the SD card, that doesn't look like the CFast. But then behind that, we see a ton of P-Tap or D-Tap to connect a bunch of different accessories. That's incredible. A lot of venting and cooling going on. It is going to have a V-mount battery plate on the back, and I actually really like this design. It's clearly designed for the newer micro V-mount batteries, which I talked a lot about in my last video. I don't currently own any. I still have one of these big fat guys. Probably not going to work on a system like this, but look how it's designed to be flush. So it's like a perfect box, even with the battery. There's our 6K sensor. Nexus G1, I guess is what it's gonna be called. It looks like it has built-in 15 millimeter rod support. We've got a couple quarter 20 mounts on that bottom side there. I haven't seen other mounting points. Obviously, I'm guessing there's at least a couple on the bottom. And then just says coming 2024. So where do we get some more extra details on here? Well, in the description of that video, it says to head over to Instagram and you can either check out uh, thomas.avid, his uh, personal account, or the main account you'll probably wanna follow for this project is nexus underscore cameras the Nexus project. But on the secondary post, they go in to list all the features that they want to include. So let's run through some of the top ones here. First of all, it'll be a composite body comprising of polymer and alloy elements. To be honest, I'm not an expert in materials, so I don't know if that is like automatically better than the existing design. They will have this made as both a pre-built option, which will be perfect for people like me. It means you can just go to their website buy it and it'll ship to you ready to go. Or for anyone having an existing G1 and you're a super DIYer, cause I have a feeling this is gonna be a little bit more intricate of a mod than some of the other mod kits out there. Uh, but you will be able to buy the kit to do it yourself if that's what you like to do. It looks like they're trying to build this as kind of a 
optional a la carte camera as well. A lot of these options say optional SDI out, optional inter-electronic ND filter. See, that's why I was gonna complain about like, why aren't people modding the 6K Pro? Because that has the internal NDs. It looks like they're gonna take their own internal electronic ND filter, or maybe it's one from the 6K Pro. An SSD module system for affordable media via CFast input to free up USB-C port gimbal for gimbal camera control, similar to Red Mags, but affordable. All right, so to me, that looks like they're basically going to take over the CFast port, and rather than putting in a CFast card, it means you're going to be able to connect your own hard drive. I think that'd be an awesome add-on. Hot, pluggable, detachable, tiltable, original screen, which may be positioned in multiple locations. So maybe I was wrong before and it's not two different screens. Maybe it's just you mount the one screen in different areas. Definitely need to get clarification on that. Again, to me, that sounds like they are nixing the ribbon cable and just rewiring it to be something that you can just unplug and plug back in so you can mount it anywhere you want. And you'll probably have a short cable that we just didn't see in that uh, design video because they wanted to make it look super clean and minimalistic. For mounts, you can choose between a positive EF mount, original EF mount, or PL mount. And they're even considering other mounts like L, RF, and Sony E. They're gonna build in the LPE6 battery so that way you can hot swap either the V-mount or gold batteries on the back, that's awesome. Optional speed booster from Super 35 to full frame equivalent coverage and an optional detachable right side grip handle with built-in control functions. So it looks like they're gonna build, I wonder if they're gonna take the Blackmagic like this handle which has all the record buttons. Wow, wow, wow. Let's dial it back a little bit here because there are some big questions that we need answered. Obviously nowadays, anyone can release an ultra fancy looking uh, design video. Obviously it's an entirely different thing to see a real prototype version of the camera. And then it's an entirely different level of phase to say, hey, this is ready for mass production. But I have a feeling depending on the price, most people would love to just buy this ready to go right off the shelf. I'm in line. Honestly, I, I would sell my 6K Pro for this camera, 100%. Pricing is gonna be super fascinating on this. I'm gonna do everything that I can to get in touch with these guys because I would love if they could even like throw out a guesstimation. Most of the mod kits we've seen are, you know, anywhere from three to five, maybe 600, I think for like the tilted top end version or something. This isn't your average basic mod kit. If you get all those options and stuff, you're getting things that the Pocket 6K never even came with, like SDI, different types of mounts, built-in NDs. That's a lot of work and manufacturing and tooling that's going into this product. And since I'm guessing this is just gonna be like a small team of people, you know, putting these things together, I would not be surprised if this thing was like three or $4,000. Like, I don't know. That's, I'm just throwing it out there. If, if they come back and they're like, it's 2,500 bucks, like I would be super shocked. Please let me know what you guys think about this camera down in the comments below. I was a little worried about making another mod video, but this just seemed so different than everything else that I've seen. And if this truly comes to fruition and we really see this camera by end of year, honestly, I hope Blackmagic like buys them out or partners with them and helps them and masses produce this thing. Like, look, Blackmagic, someone else did the work for you. Make that, make that.